guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a set covering problem in Python using the pulp package. Um, so hopefully you have a little bit of background knowledge in linear programming and can set this problem up on paper or on your computer and maybe you want to actually solve it. So that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to start off by explaining what's going on in this example. Um, so basically we are building fire stations and there are six different cities. We want to make sure that that there's at least one fire station within 15 minutes of each city um, and we want to build a minimum number of fire stations so in this table um, it's a six by six matrix you could say um, it's all the distances between each city so of course um, city one to one is zero city two to two is zero and so on um, and then next we have this decision variable so if a fire station is built in city I then it gets the value of 1, and if not, it gets 0. Our objective function is to minimize this. Um, the sum of all our decision, vi decision variable values. Um, next, our constraints are for all cities, we are going to sum over um, if, this, if there is another city um, within, let's say, city 1. So let's look at this table. Um, city 1 and City 2 um, are within 15 minutes, so they'll be included in this summation. Um, and uh, this decision variable, let's say that this gets uh, the value of 1. So there's a fire station built in City uh, 2, um, but not in City 1. It'll still cover this constraint because it's greater than or equal to 1. So basically you just want uh, for each city there to be at least one fire station within 15 minutes. Um, and then our solution is down here. This is what we want to get in Python and I'm going to show you all exactly how to do that. Um, so first we're going to import NumPy because we're going to use our NumPy array function um, for the parameter of all the distances between each city um, um. so we're gonna make this numpy array I actually already created it so you guys don't have to watch me type out every single number but it's the same as this six by six um, matrix in our example um, I copied it exactly so this is row one row two and so on and then the next thing we want to do is import our pulp package from pulp import asterisk so the first thing we do when setting up our problem is um, we want to create our sets using lists and again um, if you've watched my other videos I like to capitalize the sets um, for this specific example, we are going to use um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rather than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for our cities. Um, this is because of the way that our Python indexing structure is set up and because of the fact that we need to use a for loop. Um, so this is going to fix, um, I tried to do it with um, having city 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and it wasn't working just because of the indexing structure. but. I will also show you how to fix that when we go to print our solution. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next thing we need to do is set our problem variable where all of our problem data will be stored. This is going to be called prob equals um, LP problem function. Um, let's just call this fire station. You can call this whatever you want. And this is a minimization problem. So we say LP minimize. Um, and then the next thing we need to do is set our decision variables. Decision variables. So we actually only have one, and again, that was our binary um, x subscript i variable. So we're going to say use underscore vars. That's just the name I like to use when um, you have a binary um, decision variable so that you know you are using that um, if it gets a value of one. And we're going to say dot .dicts since we are um, indexing with a list, or um, not indexing with a list. One of our parameters is a list. Let's call this build fire station. We're going to 
Um, our second argument is going to be whatever set we're using, and that's cities. And our next two arguments are 0 and 1, since this is binary, and LP binary specifies that in the last argument. Um, next, we need to set our constraints. And this is a little tricky, and we're going to need to use um, two for loops. So again, my tips for setting up the constraints using the pulp package in Python, we want to first look to see if there is a for all sign. Um, this doesn't have the, um, the um, for all symbol, but um, we can see that this constraint is being applied to all cities. So we need to say for j in cities, and then we need to assign it to our problem variable. So you can use two different indes, um, index of uh, uh, what's it called index letters um, for one single set, um, and that's because we have our rows and our columns are all the same cities. Um, so we are going to use i and j as our indexing uh, as our index values. So then we're going to say um, use underscore vars because that's what we're adding up for each city. Um, and we're going to say again for i in cities, since we use that, um, oh, we actually forgot to do the objective function first. That's more important. So let's do that first. So this will make more sense. That's what I was trying to do. I think I skipped over that. So let's do prob um, equals lp sum use underscore bears bracket i because um, you can see here that it's indexed with the i and that's going to be for i in cities since we are summing that over so that's our objective function and then back to this constraint um, we are going to sum up our decision variable for each city but we're only going to include that decision variable again like I was explaining a second ago um, in this city one we're only going to include these decision variables um, if the distance um, if that the element within um, that position of the distance array that we created um, is less than or equal to 15 So let's say um, this is how our loop's going to work. It's going to say for j in cities, so it's going to start off with this 0 as the index, um, and then it's going to say, um, it's going to look at our distance array, and if this distance 0, um, 0, 0 is less than or equal to 15, it'll include that, and then it'll go to the next one. Um, it would be 1, 0, because we're still in this 0 index, but we are now moving on to the 1 for the i index, then it's going to um, include that as well. So just these two be will be included. Um, that's That might be a little too in-depth, and you might have already figured that out, but I just wanted to try to explain that a little better. Um, so that decision variable will be included if the value is less than or equal to 15. Um, we we're going to close off that parentheses, and then our constraint was that it must be the sum must be greater than or equal to one. All right, and this was a pretty quick uh, problem, so now we can go ahead and print our status and our optimal solution. So we always want to start with our prob dot solve empty brackets because I'm not going to select a solver I'm just going to let Python do that um, and then we are going to create a loop um, since this is a binary variable and we want to print build fire station in location um, whatever the variable name is so we're going to say for I in cities um, so for all cities if this use underscore vars um, value there dot var value is greater than zero so um, if it's assigned this one value um, that means we want to build a fire station in that location
And now to account for our syntax issue that we were talking about a second ago, um, I'm going to say I plus one so that um, if city zero, if we want to build a fire station in city zero, um, it's going to add one and it's going to print city one because that's what it actually is. It accounts for Python um, indexing. And then the last thing, um, we also want to print our status. And hopefully this will be optimal. So LP status bracket prob dot status bracket parentheses. All right, let's see. Fire station. I probably forgot a colon. Um, for I in cities, did I forget something? Where did it say my syntax error was? Oh, forgot this comma here. Um, I'm not sure why this is happening. Oh, you also need this outer bracket here. And guys, again, I'm just keeping this all in here instead of editing this out, um, just so you can kind of see how to debug um, problems like this. So we want this outer bracket here just to keep it um, all together. And then I guess I forgot a colon here. indent and that should be good so our solution is to build a fire station location 2 and to build a fire station in location 4 and our status is optimal and um, whoever solved this um, it says we want to build um, one in location two and location four and x zero was just the sum the number of um, fire stations so of course that is what we got um, there's a fire station in two and four so I hope that helped out with um, if you want to solve a set covering problem in Python I know not every problem is the same and some are more complex but this is a really um, a popular example that is used often in linear programming classes. Um, the fire station problem is just a great problem for learning set covering. And I hope this helped you guys.